Okay, could Senator Obama's relationship with Bill Ayers hurt him and should have, have been brought up last night at the debate? Joining us now, the pundit pit. Where's the music? There Actor he is. Come on and down. Activist Ed Begley Jr. Yes, yes indeed. Oh, Republican yeah. pollster Tyler Harbour. Media trainer and founder, Clarity Media Group, Bill McGowan. Oh, this is a good group. No kidding. They're not going to get along at all. Who's in the fourth seat? A mystery guest? That's right. Find out when we return in two minutes. We're going to have to do something about home values. You know that home values of retirees continues to, re to decline and people are no longer able to afford their mortgage payments. As President of the United States, Alan, I would order the Secretary of the Treasury to immediately buy up the bad home loan mortgages in America and renegotiate at the new value of those homes, at the diminished value of those homes, and let people make those, be able to make those payments and stay in their homes. Is it expensive? Yes. But we all know, my friends, until we stabilize home values in America, we're never going to start turning around and creating jobs and fixing our economy. Senator McCain is right. Well, that was John McCain and a bit of a Barack Obama talking about his plan for the economy. And we just learned that the Fed has cut interest rates by half a point to 1.5 percent. So in the pundit pit this morning, breaking news, we have actor and activist Ed Begley Jr., Republican pollster Tyler Harbour, media trainer and founder Clarity Media Group, Bill McGowan. Good morning to you, gentlemen. Good morning, Gretchen. All right, so we hear John McCain last night talk about this housing plan, which he's calling the McCain Resurgence Plan. I guess this was breaking news. Along with the breaking news this morning, does this help or hurt the candidates, Bill? I think the fact that he gave a specific last night obviously helped McCain a lot. You look at any of the people who are watching this debate, and their biggest complaint was that there's too much theory, there's too much rhetoric. We want to hear some real specific proposals. So I think the fact that he was able to offer one last night definitely helped him. I think the style in which he did it did not help him as much as he could. I think John McCain still needs to learn how to deliver the punchline of the joke mm -hmm. so that it gets noticed a bit Or the more. zinger, because a lot of people said he needed to come out with a knockout punch. You would know that. I'll get back to that in mm -hmm. a minute. But Ed Begley, what do you think about the idea that he actually had a new talking point last night? Because one of the criticisms about the debate, frankly, was that they just stayed on their talking points, and we've heard it all before. No, that was very good. A $300 billion a portion of it to go to people's to help with their mortgage is very smart, and I hope uh, Barack Barack Obama adopt something like that himself. That's a good idea. You've got to include the homeowners in this. Very smart of him. It's going gonna, it's gonna to help him. Okay. Uh, Tyler, what about this breaking news this morning? The Fed cutting the interest rate. Could this possibly put the economy back on an upswing? And then some would argue, okay, potentially there might be other things discussed in the 27 days that we have remaining before the election. Sure. 27 days is a, is a short amount of time to really change the focus from, from one issue to the other. I think even even, even with the rate cut, something miraculous would have to happen for this debate and for this campaign, quite frankly, to change over from the economy. Mm. So Still you guys with this all perception believe that the Democrats are better able to handle the economy, I think you're seeing that in polls, and to change that back with this little time is sure. be tough. Mm -hmm. It's because, impossible. Because, Ed, eight years, this is Barack Obama's point, eight years of Bush, and this is where we are. And so he can continue to just rest on those laurels, basically, right? Right. And Main Street and Wall Street did very well under Clinton, you know. And so people are analyzing that and taking away with it what they will. So uh, uh, I think it was very good for Obama last night in many ways. Uh, I think uh, McCain had a very positive thing with that $300 billion. That was very good for him. Hmm. So, uh, you know, we'll see. I, I think it's, it's Obama's now to lose at this point. He's, hmm. he's got the advantage in many people's eyes. And we'll see how, you know, what's the problem rises occur in the in the coming weeks 27 days not a lot of time i know bill i know you have a thought but i'm gonna hold sure, your time absolutely just for the commercial break because yeah. we're coming back with this pundit pit in just a couple of minutes all right i'm back with the pundit pit we've been having our own little debate here for the last couple of minutes we're going to share some of that with you right now because a lot of people felt like this town hall setting not really. Bill? It was a podium debate masquerading as a town hall, and I think the bar and expectations were raised so high for McCain to excel in this environment that because it really wasn't a town hall, I felt it didn't play to his advantages. In fact, he looked kind of uncomfortable in the setting. He was moving around the stage, and he was sort of wandering. And I think when you're 
72 years old, you don't want to look like you're sort of aimlessly wandering. You know, mm -hmm. and Obama, I thought, looked very comfortable, very serene, very in control, sitting, watching him. McCain was furiously taking notes, even when he first arrived on the stage, which I was thinking, what, what are you writing? And the debate hasn't even started yet. He, hmm. I think McCain still hasn't been able to kind of look into the camera and and make people like him. Mm -hmm. So aside from body language also, mm -hmm. the questions seem stilted. I mean, I was really looking forward to the average Joe standing up and saying, hey, this is what's on my mind tonight. But Tyler, the minute that I heard that they were gonna go through these thousands of questions and pick out just a couple, I knew quite possibly we were not gonna get a character question, and we didn't. That's true. You know, both these candidates showed up for different debates. McCain showed up for the town halls that he's used to having, very highly interactive, very little screening. You know, having lived in Tennessee for, for most of my life, there are a lot of weird people there in Nashville. Why didn't they pull them out? They're there. Why, why, weren't, why weren't they pulled into, into the score? But you're right. These questions were very sterile, very screened out, and, and, and it didn't allow a whole lot for McCain to really demonstrate how good he is at, at the town hall aspect. And I, I agree with bill. I mean, that was a podium debate. But, but Ed, one of the things that McCain, a lot of people thought he might bring up, was the whole character issue about Barack Obama's association with this guy, Bill Ayers, the domestic Ayers. terrorist out of Chicago. And that's what his campaign has been talking about, specifically Sarah Palin, for the last couple of days. And yet, he did not mention that last night at all. Right or wrong? Uh it was probably a good idea not to mention. I don't know if he would have gotten any traction. The facts, as I understand them, is that he did not know of this guy's uh, involvement in, in uh, those very uh, bad activities when he met with him. I don't know if that's true or not. But he kept you the know about that, Bill? I think McCain's between a rock and a hard place because everybody's saying, you, you know, if you go critical, you're going to turn us off. And I think last night the economy was so on everyone's mind that I don't think yeah. he wanted to run the risk of going negative. But what does in he have to lose setting. at this point? I think he should stop smiling when he throws a zinger, though. I think if he's going to be tough, be tough. You know, <laughs> flashing that grin when you're throwing a zinger at your opponent, I think reeks of insincerity. You know, if you're going to be tough, be tough. So, Tyler, in the break, you were talking about the fact that you never have the principal person That's deliver right. the knockout punch. But my question again, what does John McCain have to lose at this point? He's down nine points. There's 27 days. Well, you have to imagine for the past year, they've been telling John, do not, do not get angry. Do not engage. Do mm -hmm. not say anything bad about your opponent when you're standing next to him. Because McCain is known for having a horrible temper mm -hmm. and known for really flying off the handle. And so what I think you saw last night was more uh, learned behavior. Because I have seen, I have seen McCain really come un unglued and really tear into his opponent. So I know he has the potential of doing so, but I think it's something that his advisors say, hey, you cannot engage. We're going to use our advertising. We're going to use our direct mail. We're going to use other uh, other aspects and tactics to really tear into Obama. You do not need to be the one landing the punch. And we tell our clients that too. All right, Ed, real quickly, they did talk a little bit about going green last night. Was the answer satisfactory to you? Because I know that's near and dear to your heart. Yeah, I prefer Obama's plan, and he simply has a much better record, League of Conservation voters. He has a very high record with his votes on the environment. McCain has a much lower record. And the specifics, you know, I find myself, and uh, it's part of Obama's campaign, a lot of the stuff that geologists and oil men like Boone Pickens are talking about. A lot of wind, you know, natural gas is a big part of the solution, clean technologies, biofuels. So uh, I, I thought that Obama did very well on the environment. Uh, he, he scored for me big time on environmental matters. All right, guys, it's been fun. Thanks so much Thanks, for hanging Roger. out with Thank me. You, Tyler, guys. Bill, Ed, the trifecta. <laughs> That's what I'm going to call you yeah, from great. now on. All right, let's go out to Steve and Brian.